Servicing your watch is so important. Every three to five years, you wanna make sure that that watch not only is looking nice and new, like this Breitling Bentley that I'm currently servicing, but at the same time, you want to make sure that it's running properly, that it's keeping good time, and that the parts and all the components are working smoothly, that the jewels are re-oiled, and all of that, you don't have to necessarily worry at an individual pace, but rather take it somewhere that you know is going to do a good job, and they'll knock that out for you. It's super important to keep the components of an automatic watch serviced and running correctly because I've seen so many times where people will let a watch service go 15, 20 years in between services and a regular service that should have been done every three to five years turns into an overhaul, which is twice the price. So you go from spending maybe five, $600 on a service to spending 1,500 to 2,000 on a service just because you let it go for too long. So make make sure that you are servicing your watch. Let's talk about Breitlings. So Breitlings are actually a really good uh, bang for your buck watch. If you're looking for something, let's say under $4,000, uh, you can get a lot of bang for your buck with Breitlings. I've actually got a Breitling Bentley here. Uh, this one's a little bit over that price range, but this is kind of one of the nicer Breitlings that, um, Breitling makes. Um, but regardless, it is a very good watch, very good brand to get bang for your buck and kind of that entry level of the luxury uh, watch world. Another amazing brand that is huge on bang for your buck is Omega. We all know Omega from the James Bond movies and we everybody loves Omega. Uh, they're very sleek, very low key, but beautiful watches and pretty complex movements. I'm working on the Seamaster that's got the coaxial movement in it. And uh, I'll say it's been a little challenging, but I will tell you that going with Omega at the price point for a lot of these watches is the way to go. As always, I recommend you shop pre-owned and not new because with Omega and with other essentially entry level luxury watches, there are going to be, there's going to be a drop off between retail pricing and resale pricing. 